Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. Complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty purse the last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, Marson. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy, who's never forked a bale of hay in his life, know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash, came in a wild land. Not far now. Eyes open, boys. All right, leave the horses here and follow me. Let's go! Stay alert, boys! Be ready, boys. We're probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Hell, 
I'll fire. There's our boys on the other side. Eyes up! We ain't finished yet! You got one! Clear out that camp. Watch yourself. Looks like they have some backup. Tell the ballers to give themselves up or we'll kill every last one of you! Snipers, boy! Come on! Let's get this! Come on, boy! My God. It sounds like the deputies could use a hand. This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around and listen up. All right, stealthy as you can, boys. Let's get as close to those bastards as we can. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. Uh, All right. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. Wes Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. Wes Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves. 
and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. <laughs>